For loyal military TV viewers, the names SU-57 Felon and F-35 Lightning II are certainly no strangers. These two legendary fifth-generation fighters have once again grabbed the spotlight, this time making a rare appearance side-by-side -side at the Aero India 2025 International Air Show. With both jets representing the pinnacle of air superiority for their respective nations. But this time, we're doing it with a fresh approach. How do they truly stack up against each other? At first glance, the SU-57 and F-35 have starkly different design choices. The SU-57, developed by Russia's Sukhoi Design Bureau, embraces a sleek twin-engine airframe that prioritizes supermaneuverability. Meanwhile, the F-35, produced by Lockheed Martin, is a single-engine aircraft designed primarily for stealth and multi-role capabilities. One of the most crucial aspects of any fifth-generation fighter is its stealth capability. The F-35 was designed with stealth as a top priority, featuring internal weapons bays, radar-absorbent materials, and an angular fuselage that minimizes its radar cross-section. The aircraft's design allows it to penetrate enemy airspace undetected and deliver precision strikes before the enemy even knows it's there. On the other hand, the Su-57 incorporates some stealth elements, but does not prioritize them as much as the F-35. While it features radar-absorbent materials and an internal weapons bay, the Felon's engine nozzles remain exposed, making it more detectable to radar, especially from the rear. Russian engineers argue that the Su-57 compensates for this with advanced electronic warfare systems that can jam or deceive enemy radars, In terms of this, the F-35 has a clear advantage in stealth due to its low RCS and superior RAM coating, making it more effective in evading detection. The Su-57 was designed with air superiority and dogfighting in mind, boasting impressive maneuverability thanks to its thrust vectoring engines and aerodynamic design. With a top speed of Mach 2.0, the Felon can easily engage and outmaneuver enemy aircraft, making it highly effective in close-range engagements. Additionally, it is capable of supercruise, allowing it to sustain supersonic speeds without afterburners, which improves fuel efficiency and extends combat range. The F-35, in contrast, is not built for dogfighting, but rather for stealth and beyond visual range engagements. Its top speed is Mach 1.6, slower than the Su-57, and while it has decent maneuverability, it lacks thrust vectoring nozzles, limiting its ability to perform extreme aerial maneuvers. The Su-57 outperforms the F-35 in terms of raw speed and maneuverability, making it more effective in dogfights. However, the F-35's superior situational awareness and stealth allow it to avoid close-range engagements altogether. Modern air combat is not just about speed and maneuverability, it's about who sees the enemy first. In this domain, the F-35 has a significant edge. The aircraft's DAS, EOTS, and ESA radar provide unparalleled situational awareness. Its ability to share real-time data with allied aircraft, ground units, and naval forces makes it a true force multiplier on the battlefield. The Su-57 is equipped with the SH-121 multifunctional radar system, L-band ESA radars, and an IRST system, which allows it to detect stealth aircraft at shorter ranges. L-band radars are more effective against very low observable stealth aircraft, such as the F-22 and F-35, which are optimized primarily against X-band radar frequencies. However, L-band radars have lower resolution due to their longer wavelengths. After the increase in avionics technology capabilities, it can be said 
that the Su-57's avionics capabilities are currently the same or even better than the F-35. Both aircraft carry an array of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons, but their operational roles influence their loadouts. The Su-57 is designed as a multi-role fighter with an emphasis on air superiority. It carries R-77 and R-37M long-range air-to-air missiles, capable of engaging enemy aircraft beyond visual range. It also has KH-38, KH-58, and KH-59 guided missiles for ground strikes. Additionally, Russia has integrated Kinzhal hypersonic missiles into the Su-57, which could significantly enhance its strike capability. The worst case is Su-57 capable of carrying glide bombs, enhancing its versatility in combat operation. Glide bombs have devastating effects and are almost impossible to stop. The only way to stop this bomb is to destroy the jet that carries this bomb. But if this bomb is combined with the Su-57, which is known for its extraordinary maneuverability, then this will be a real disaster for the enemy. Meanwhile, the F-35's primary focus is precision strike missions. It carries AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles for air combat, as well as JDAMs, AGM-158 JASM cruise missiles, and small diameter bombs for ground targets. The F-35 can also integrate nuclear weapons, making it a strategic asset for NATO. In the matter of armament, the Su-57 predominant because it has diverse weapons, while the F-35 excels in precision, strike missions with superior stealth. One of the biggest challenges for the Su-57 is production and deployment. As of 2024, Russia has only delivered a small number of Su-57s with plans to increase production in the coming years. The fighter has yet to be fully integrated into Russian forces at scale, and its combat effectiveness in real-world engagements remains largely untested. On the other hand, the F-35 has been mass-produced and exported to several allied nations, including the UK, Israel, Japan, and Australia. With over 900 units operational, the F-35 is a battle-tested aircraft with combat experience in the Middle East. This widespread deployment ensures continuous upgrades and improvements, keeping it at the cutting edge of technology. Nowadays, the F-35 holds a massive advantage in production numbers and combat readiness, whereas the Su-57 remains limited in deployment. Which one is better? It depends on the mission. That's all for today. See you for the next update.